And so we're going to do Mystic Mondays every week. And let's talk about you a little bit. Let's introduce introduce you. You've been on the show before, but your name is Joelle. So hi, Joelle. Everybody say hi. (laughs) There we go. And then um, you are the owner of the Dancing Moon Society. Yes. Um, We're coming up on our two-year anniversary. I'm super pumped. That's awesome. Yeah. That's super good. I think um, the Dancing Moon Society, tell us a little bit about the Dancing Moon Society. So the idea of Dancing Moon Society was to create a spiritually based um, community that would be able to do different programs, different outreaches. We have women's healing groups, men healing groups. We have an LGBTQ plus group. Um, We do monthly um, events and stuff like that to engage with the community. And the baseline of it is just to create a community of open-minded, loving people. And that's just the basis of it. And you come as you are. There's no judgment. There's no, you have to be this, you have to be that. It's just an open community. I think that's really awesome. It is really awesome. And we have all become just one big family. And it's so beautiful. And like six of us have actually gotten tattoos together, which is really cool. (laughs) So we always joke around with it. Like, you know, we joined a cult, but it's not. (laughs) What kind of tattoo did you get? It is a moon with some like lines in it. It's like for sisterhood. And, like, reclaiming our power, reclaiming our voices, reclaiming who we are as women. And that was a part of our women's group that we did. So it was really beautiful. That is, that is beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. It's so cool. Yeah. And I love it. I love that you guys are joking about it being a cult because you all got tattoos too. (laughs) We do. That's my favorite. You got to show the tattoo when you come in through the door. (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. So I, I, like I said, um, you do all kinds of things. Yeah. And so I don't even know where to begin when it comes to talking about what you do um, and what we're going to do on this segment because you're, you've are you got so many different things that we're going to cover. Yeah, I know. It's going to be, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Because I was thinking about it the other day and I'm like, whoa, dude, I just, I don't even know how to like scale that down, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and I, the, the awesome thing is that I don't want you to scale it down yeah. that, because that's what makes you so fabulous. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Aww. But yeah, so I think that's really exciting. Um, and so we were talking about it. I was like, oh, you're going to do tarot cards today? And she's like, I didn't bring any tarot cards with me. <laughs> I'm like, what? Who doesn't just have a I pack know. of tarot cards with them? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so bad, too, because I own over 100 decks. Like, you can ask my husband. He They have taken over the house. And he's like, I don't even feel like this is my house anymore. I feel like it's the tarot decks house. Yeah. So, and so do you go by that rule that nobody can touch the deck but you? No. No, I mean, <laughs> that's there's, good. There's, <laughs> you have a hundred. There's like one that I'm very like specific about, but other than that, like I don't care. Just grab one and whatever, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. There's no rules. There's no rules. That's good. <laughs> I don't like rules. Rules are yeah. rules aren't fun. No, they are. No, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, and then um, so we're gonna call this segment Mystic Monday, and I absolutely love that because you got a little mystic to you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I asked one of my one of my friends and she was the one that gave me that name and I'm like, Oh wow, that's like I didn't even think about that. Yeah, She's so clever. Fun. It is clever and it's Monday. I know, it's perfect. It is gonna be perfect. So I'm super excited to spend my Mondays with you. Um and we're just gonna get to know you a lot through this journey. Yeah. And um we're we're gonna have fun. I think that's really exciting. Yeah, I'm really pumped. I think it's gonna be really cool. Plus it gets not only Dancing Moon out there, but the people that I work with. And it, and, it, and it allows people to see a little bit inside of what we do and that we're not, you know, this spiritually crazy people or anything <laughs> like that. Like, we're just people and we yeah. want to help other people and we want to help people heal and we want to yeah. help people grow in themselves. And, and so, and I'm, I'm very open. Um, I've gone or started my journey of healing with you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really exciting. Um, People are like, what do you, what does that mean? And I'm like, I don't really know. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I don't even really know what it means. It's just, you know. (laughs) Yeah, it's just a journey. We're going on a journey together. And I think that um, since I started, um, I can feel the, I don't even know, the heaviness off of me. Mm -hmm. Because I know, like, I'm working on it. Yeah. You know, and that's cool. Because you, you, you do that. You mm-hmm. can guide people through whatever they're going through. Yeah. I know. Like, I um, I had a client before I got here, 
and it's very beautiful to see the different things that people go through even with their traumas because you help them find themselves you help them find their power their courage and you see the beautiful flowers that they bloom into and they they do all the work all I do is give them the tools and the messages and the guidance to do so I just walk with you you do everything else yeah you know so it's beautiful to see that transformation kind of like a butterfly yes it's like a butterfly and so I can't wait and I'm going to share my journey with everybody because I think it's cool and I want everybody to know um (laughs) the journey and what did we do when I first met you we did a cleansing didn't we yeah it's called an egg limpia which is a kudendarizno tradition which is where we use just a regular plain old egg out of the refrigerator we cleanse the energetic bodies or the chakras and you pull out different cords, different spaces, and then you clear the chakras up so that you're able to learn to walk in the world a little lighter, a little less heavy. Yeah, and who doesn't want to walk a little less heavy? Which, yeah, I know, it's phenomenal. Like, I, I've, I've trained <laughs> two people to actually do it on me um, because we believe that you, you don't really do them on yourselves. Oh, okay. So even when people do them on me, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I feel so much better. This is amazing. <laughs> So yeah, it's great. It's, it, you feel great afterwards. Oh yeah, you do. You feel you feel lighter. You just feel like you can move better. I mean, I've had clients where I've pulled like just really heavy pain out of their bodies, and then afterwards they're like, "Oh my gosh, like I've never been able to move this like the way that I have." And they're like, "How how did you do that?" And I'm like, "Well, it's in the egg, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's in the egg. Just get rid of the, it's egg. In the egg. Just get rid of the egg. That's all you gotta do." Yeah. And so once they do this cleansing with this egg, you need to get rid of the egg. And so, like, I put mine in the river. Yeah. Um, and I put mine in the river, and and it flowed away from me, and now it's just gone. Yep. And I think that's really cool um, because I just walk a little lighter, enjoy my day a little bit better. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I even started exercising, and I'm not an exerciser. That's great. But I'm like, but I've had so many back problems and different things wrong with my body as, right. as I've gotten older. I'm just cranky and whiny, <laughs> and um, it, it's slowly kind of going away. I think yeah. that's awesome. Oh, yeah, and that's a part of curanderismo is – That we work in the spiritual realm, but we also work in the physical realm. So taking care of our physical bodies is so important when it goes hand in hand in healing trauma and healing those different wounds and stuff like that. So taking care of yourself, eating better, those different things. Because when you feel better in your body, you're going to feel better spiritually. Yeah, absolutely. There's always a balance. There's always a balance. Always. (laughs) That's just if you want to do that balance or not. Yeah, because that balance is not fun sometimes. No, (laughs) But it's it's never supposed to be. Nothing... Nothing that you deserve is going to be easy. It's always going to be a rocky road, and you just got to learn to walk with it. Absolutely. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I, no words have been spoken that are wiser <laughs> than, um, you know, nothing worth working for comes easy. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing. Or if it did, then we wouldn't appreciate it, right? Well, yeah, we wouldn't appreciate the journey. Like, you, you can't. You can't see where you've come from if you haven't come from some trials. And it always reminds me of the poem by Robert Frost, The Road Less Traveled By. Yeah. You have to take that hard road because yeah. that's where you learn your lessons. That's where you learn to traverse this world. And that's how you learn how to heal. If you take the easy road, sure, you're going to get there quicker, but you're not going to learn anything. Okay. And you're not going to heal anything. You're right. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah, I love that poem. That's a good poem. All right. Well... We're super excited to get in um, Mystic Monday starting today, and we'll be back next Monday around 2 p.m. with Mystic Monday with Joelle. Joelle, thank you for being on the show today. I'm super excited that you are here, and I can't wait for our journey together. Thank you. I'm excited, too. All right. We'll be back with BS in the Afternoon on Hits 105.5.